Kevin here from aquastarcreative.com Today I am going to show you how you can quickly transform your text into an inflated 3D text effect using Adobe Illustrator. Ok, so go to New File. I'm going to call this file 3D Text Effect. Make both the width and height 1080 pixels. Keep the rest of the settings as is. First of all I'm going to turn off the stroke. Double click on the colour picker. I'm going to enter 42210B for a brown background. Press M on your keyboard or select the rectangle tool from the tools panel. Draw in a square shape like so. Go to your layers panel and rename the layer background. Create a new layer. Lock the background layer. Press T on your keyboard or go to the tools panel and activate the type tool. Click anywhere on your canvas. Go back to your colour picker and input F77417 to get this orange colour. Go to the character panel and select the font that you would like to use. I'm going to select Grover Heavy which I downloaded from Adobe Fonts. Highlight the lorem ipsum text. Enter any text that you would like to use but I'm going to enter aqua pressing return after the queue so it's displayed on two lines. Highlight the text again and head to the character panel. I want to make the text quite big. 300 points will do. I'll also make a quick adjustment to the spacing by decreasing the number in this panel. Make your selection tool active and drag the text and pull it into the middle. Go to the Align section and click on both the Horizontal Align Center and Vertical Align Center options. Now in your Quick Action section, click on Create Outlines. If you don't see that, simply go to Type, then Create Outlines. Go to Window, then select 3D and Materials. Make sure you are in the object panel and click on the inflate option. You will immediately see your text take the 3D effect. I'm just going to leave the depth, twist, taper and volume at their default settings. If you look at rotation, it'll show you a different perspective if you play around with the settings. You will also notice that the opposite side of the text is flat. You can make the text fully blown up by clicking on the Inflate Both Sides checkbox. I'm going to uncheck that box again. Return the Y axis to 0 degrees and make the X axis minus 5 degrees. In the Materials panel there are a few textures available like gold, leather and other fabrics. Which you can use to make a cool effect. Scroll down to the properties at the bottom. I will keep the roughness as is but change the metallic setting to 0.3. Nice. If you head over to the lighting section now, as you can see you can reposition the light using one of the presets or you can set your own by repositioning the circle icon. At the bottom you can make further light adjustments but I am happy with how my effect looks. Ok so click on the drop down arrow on the render settings. Turn ray tracing on. Make sure you have the quality set to high. Click on the raster settings. Change the screen resolution to 300 ppi. Click OK then press render. 
and there we have it, we have created our inflated 3D text effect. I do recommend experimenting with all different types of fonts as you can produce some interesting results. I'm Kevin from AquastarCreative.com. Thank you for watching.